Your doctor has recommended that you have a modified radical mastectomy. But what does that actually mean? Traditionally, a radical mastectomy called for the removal of the breast, surrounding tissue, and even the chest muscle below. A modified radical mastectomy is a procedure in which the breast and surrounding tissue are removed while leaving the chest muscle intact. In most cases, mastectomy is required in order to remove cancerous tissue from the body. The extent of tissue removed is determined by the amount of cancer present in your body. A modified radical mastectomy is one of the most extensive forms of breast cancer surgery in that it calls for the complete removal not only of the breast but of the lymph nodes as well. Lymph nodes are small junctions that join the vessels that make up the lymphatic system. The lymphatic system circulates a bodily fluid called lymph in the same way that the circulatory system carries blood. Your doctor has recommended that you undergo a modified radical mastectomy because the cancer in your breast may have begun to move into the lymph nodes under your arm as well as into your chest muscle. This procedure will permanently change the outward shape and appearance of your chest. So make sure that you ask your doctor to carefully explain the reasons behind this recommendation. On the day of your operation, you will be asked to put on a surgical gown. You may receive a sedative by mouth and an intravenous line may be put in. You will then be transferred to the operating table. In the operating room, the anesthesiologist will begin to administer anesthesia, most probably general anesthesia by injection and inhalation mask. The surgeon will then apply an antiseptic solution to the skin and place a sterile drape around the operative site. Two incisions will be made, beginning at the middle of the chest, one along the top, and one along the bottom of the breast, coming together just under the arm. The skin is then lifted up and away, revealing the tissue underneath. Beginning at the clavicle, or collarbone, the surgeon then begins to carefully cut the breast tissue away from the muscles that lie just beneath. When the breast has been completely freed, it is lifted away, exposing the top layer of muscle called the pectoralis major. The surgeon will pull this muscle temporarily aside, exposing the next layer of muscle, the pectoralis minor. The surgeon will move this muscle aside, creating a clear view of the surrounding fatty tissue. Within this fat deposit lie lymph nodes, lymph vessels, blood vessels, and nerves. Using great care not to damage the large thoracic nerve, your doctor will remove the lymph nodes and surrounding fat. Blood vessels will be tied off and your doctor will thoroughly examine the surrounding tissues for any other signs of disease. When the surgical team is satisfied that they have done all that they can do to remove the cancer, they will release the muscles and other tissue. One or more drainage tubes will be temporarily inserted at the site while the healing process begins. They will then close the incision. Finally, a sterile bandage is applied.